Vikings making their first first snips. With one bar in Lubbock, show on one bar with Lubbock. Yes, Vikings wasting no time. They have till Tuesday, but they've already cut three. Yeah, and these are uh, not none of these are going to shock you. But before we get in that, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Uh, we're almost at 9,600 subscribers. So uh, if you haven't yet done it, hit that subscribe button. It's going to feel so damn good. Do it. Let's get 10K. Once we get 10K, we just might retire. I can't wait. I mean, once I see that 10K, it might just be over. I'll never retire. Either will I. I will not either. Uh, a couple of linebackers. Uh, Mr. Wilson Huber, the man who seemed like he was in every single play in uh, yesterday's preseason game, has been released uh special teams guy had pretty much 0.3 percent chance of making the team very low percent of making the team but uh maybe he gets on the practice squad huber like you said he was uh he was in every play there in the second half all over the place hubski pubski i'll never forget him never forget him maybe this is not the last we've seen him. remember guys generally you cut you know they come back they sneak on the team you know in week four when all of a sudden you have a, a plethora of injuries Another linebacker that is Gonzo, Tanner Vallejo. Vallejo. Uh, yeah, he got here, what, a week ago, 10 days ago, two weeks ago, whatever it was. Uh, special teams ace. But you know what? We already got a special teams ace on this team. His name is Najee Flash Thompson. We don't need you, Tanner. Get the hell out of here. You're a horrible okay, linebacker. That's, uh, a little rude. Um, here's your chance to apologize if you want. Not going to apologize. Well, but thank you for your service, Tanner. Yeah, that's 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 put a little bit more eloquently. Uh, he is a man that has bounced around the league. He deserves some respect, and you should show it to him. Uh, guys that are benef benefiting from this, I would like to say somebody, but we just kind of assume that they're probably gone. So, I mean. Uh, you know, when, when they brought in Vallejo, I kind of actually thought he had a slim chance to make it just because his special team's uh, acumen is so, like, good. He, he's a very good special teamer. He's just a really bad linebacker. Well, I wouldn't say bad. I mean, no, it's it's bad. All right, last one, Lopagus. Who was it? Spoil him. Uh, Williams, the offensive tackle. Jared Williams, I believe his name. Jared Williams, the man we brought in uh, most, probably most recently on the offensive line, a guy who was bounced around uh, from a handful of teams. Um, and when it comes to offensive line, you know, I, I would say that this is kind of a gimme, but I wouldn't say it is a gimme because I'm, I'm actually kind of hoping they keep somebody weird. I'm hoping they see something that nobody else sees for depth because their depth is so gross. But Jared Williams, the offensive tackle, is gone. Yeah, so overall, these three cuts, nothing real surprising. Nobody really had a strong chance to make the team. Um, so the first wave of cuts has happened. Wilson Huber is the one that, uh, to me, hurts the most. Harms is going to not like this one. He has a, an autographed card of him. Um, I'm going to say the most surprising out of this bunch is, uh, Mr. Vallejo. Yeah. You thought you maybe make it to wave four. I don't know. I just, uh, I don't know. He, he, out of these guys, he's the one that maybe had the best chance of making team, but we're going to see a lot of these coming through over the next couple of the days. Probably some surprising ones. Let us know in the comments. Do any of these hurt your purple heart? Yeah. And also remember this in 2012, a North Carolina woman discovered her ex-boyfriend was living in her attic 12 years after she broke up with him. God, 